Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with FTB's Pyramid Reborn. So, we're back in my single player world, kinda. Uh, so this is now my single player server. I uh, went ahead and moved this up to a server. I've been talking to Sticky Piston Hosting, and you know, they've been kind enough to offer me a partnership, and you know, we worked out a thing for the server, and so now we have a server to put our series on, and it dramatically improves the performance of this pack, and hopefully makes the videos smoother, which is all I really care about. Well, that plus chunk loading, right? So now things are running 24 hours a day and couldn't make me happier that they do. All right, so anyways, on to the goal of the day today. So the goal of the day today is going to be to get into immersive engineering. I want to get myself some of the cloches. I think that'll be an easier way to grow things rather than, you know, me having to come over here and pick stuff up. And, you know, I was going to make a whole sugarcane thing, but I think we'll just stick it in the cloche. And it's really not that hard, plus it's a quest. So I'm going to need myself a Coke oven, right? Let's start at the beginning. So clay, bricks, and sandstone. Not hard. All right, I've got bricks. And somewhere here, yeah, I've got clay and sandstone. So, I'm going to get 27 of these guys, right? Real easy, just like that. All right. And, you know, we're going to need, let's go ahead and make the blast furnace too, right? So, blaze powder, bricks, and nether brick. And I've been cooking up the nether rack that we had uh, from last episode. So, I've got nether bricks right there. Do I have enough regular bricks? Probably not. All right, so right here, we'll grab a bunch of blast bricks. I gotta, I have to avoid my urge to shift click that right out. You know, I'm gonna end up with two blast furnaces. All right, so we got both of those. We're gonna need ourselves an engineer's hammer. And you know, I know that's coming as a quest reward, but I just don't wanna wait. All right, I can use regular sticks. I thought it said it was only treated sticks there for a second. I was like, no. All right, a uh, piece of string. All right, so, I mean, this is super, super simple stuff, right? There we go. Got a hammer. I'm going to grab myself a bunch of blocks of coal. Cool. And let's see, where do I want this guy? Uh, you can live over here for right now. I think this is a good spot. So, Coke oven. Uh, I want to put it one away from the fence, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's always difficult, right? Because the three by three just takes up so much room. I probably should have brought a builder's wand, but close enough. All right, here we go. Get this guy done. And whack. There we go. Got ourselves a Coke oven. And, you know, go ahead and start coking it up. And we'll throw down our blast furnace. And so I want a couple of spaces in between these guys. Uh, just so I can pull stuff out. And I'm going to have to check the light level. I think we just covered up some lights right? I don't need mob spawning. And I do want to take care of that today, too. Uh, right there. All right, so we got those. Let's check the light. I think we're okay. I can't see on top of this guy. I think we're all right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go up here. And let's just see. Up, uh, 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 got a little red spot. I don't need a creeper to come, you know, out of nowhere and blow a hole in the island. All right, so I'm just going to grab some torches here, right there. And, you know, I've got to let those guys run for a minute, right? Is I'm going to need the creosote that comes from this. All right, so a little torch action right there. Nice and done. All right, so while that works, right, to get a cloche, I'm going to need some other stuff. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. So the very first thing is I'm not good at putting materials away. And I want to fix that. So let's go ahead and get ourselves... Oh, I guess I don't have any extra drawers. Uh, let's get a drawer controller, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab... Uh, let's see, six of those, one of these. And I'll go ahead and make myself a drawer, right? Right there, cool. And controller. Let's see what else we need for a drawer controller. All right, so comparators, stone, and a diamond. Well, that's easy enough, right? Sticks, stone... Uh, nether quartz. I'm going to need a diamante. Did I get everything? I feel like I did. All right. Ah, redstone. Ah, redstone. I knew I missed something. 
All right, so let's go ahead and make this. So I'm going to need, what, uh, six torches, right? And we'll do it kind of off the top of our head here. So something, I don't know, something like this, maybe? I can never remember. Comparator? How about like that? Ah, nailed it. Nailed it. All right, and drawer controller. There we go. So much better. Ah, uh, put all the stuffs away. Ah, that makes my life so much easier. All right, let's see what this guy is doing over here. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to make creosote, right? Because uh, I'm doing it in blocks of coal. But that's okay, because I want to get some stuff for that, too. Uh, my favorite way to pull out of there will be transfer nodes and a drum. And, you know, I've got drums right here. Where was... Yeah, there's the transfer pipe. And, you know, we can make a quick liquid transfer node. Uh, let's see. Right here, a node. So that's a bucket, two stone, and two redstone. I mean, not hard. Was that uh, stone or was that cobblestone? No, that's regular stone. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And uh, one, two. All right. Here we go. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Right? Just like that. Transfer nodes. Cool. Because then I can collect this stuff up. And let's see, where do I want this? I think... Yeah, I think I'll put it, like, right there, and just for right now, I'll go ahead and, you know, we'll absorb some, right? So we've got to wait to get a couple of buckets of that stuff. But I got a whole list of things that need to get done uh, while we wait. And let's see, uh, where do I want you? Yeah, I guess I'll put the extra stuff right in there. All right, so while that cooks down, let's go and get some more things. So the next thing I'm thinking about is an atomic reconstructor, right? We can get this block now because we've got the black quartz. So black quartz sticks, iron, and redstone. Easy, easy. There's my black quartz. Uh, let's see, sticks, redstone, iron. I can rip this guy right on out, right? And we'll make one of these, and we'll make one of those. Done. Uh, and the thing that I want to have with it, I always like to have a gold pressure plate, I don't know, maybe that's just me. And we'll set this guy down on the line of our end, or at the end of the line of our machines right here. Just kind of sticking it, you know, right there. And I'll throw my pressure plate down. Done. Nice. So that'll fill up with power. And now that we've got that, now I can, uh, I can fix my mob farm a little bit. So, yeah, it's actually running right now. And so I'll show you the problem with the mob farm. I mean, it works all the time, but then I got to come down here and I got to pick up all this stuff. And, you know, it's just tedious, right? So let's take some tedious out of our lives. So let's go make ourselves a ranged collector, right? And what will that take? Uh, ranged. Yeah, this is my favorite block. All right, so another casing, a void crystal, two ender pearls, and a hopper. All right, I've got hoppers. And, you know, I remember trading for void crystals with the uh, drones. So we got some right there, uh, right here. We're going to need some sticks and, I don't know, iron and redstone and stuff. All right, let's see what we forgot. All right, so here's another casing and uh, just ender pearls. I was close. I was close. All right, so there's a range collector. And, you know, I'm going to grab a couple of chests and we're going to need ourselves... Let's see, what are you? Are you an item duct? Yes, you are. And a servo, and I'm going to want some planks. And let's see if we can make a crate for right now. Right, a small storage crate. Uh, so sticks, planks, and wood. All right, sticks, planks, wood, cool. All right, here we go. Get this guy and rip out a crate real quick. And you know, while I'm here and thinking of it, Let's grab a bunch of diamonds. I duped up a bunch of diamonds, so I've got tons and tons. And let's upgrade the spikes. So let's go ahead up to diamond spikes, uh, because diamond spikes will offer us player-only drops. Right? So I just need one block of diamond, and right here. Cool. So that's kind of that whole thing sorted, right? We'll throw back... Ah, I threw back this stuff. One, two, one... All right, so our mob farm is on at the moment. Now it's off, and so let's go fix it, right? And by the way, you like this right down here? This is my chisel in bits, so I could get closer to it while still being a solid block. I thought that was kind of fun. 
All right, so take these guys away. Bane mine all that stuff. Yeah, see what I mean about having to come down here and do that? Kind of annoying. All right, so we will throw down our diamond spikes. And where did... Yeah, there's these chiseled rock covers. Done. And then I can just throw this guy down here somewhere. It doesn't much matter. Like right there is a great spot, right? And it should be working all the time. I'll go ahead and item duct out of this guy. And we'll just throw everything into a crate for right now. So I should get better drops, right? With these uh, diamond spikes, I'd really like to get like potatoes and carrots. And I haven't been able to find them so far. And maybe it'll help by having, uh, you know, player only drops. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you know what I could get? Now that I've got an atomic reconstructor, uh, what would it take for me to get a magnet? Oh, man, I would love a magnet, right? Iron and redstone, and that's it. Okay, going off plan. Let's let's do this, right? Uh, so iron and redstone. Let's go ahead and oh, I'm gonna need a redstone torch. That thing's going off all the time. Gonna need. Uh, oh, I got all my sticks on me. All right, so one more. Let's get a redstone torch, and let's turn this guy off. And then we'll make up a bunch of stuff here. I mean, not that it actually uses power. I don't think it does when it's just doing that. All right, there's those and those. Uh, hello? Could you? Oh, am I too close? It's coming right back before it has a chance to change. Well, that's kind of weird. It's almost like I got magnet action already. What is going on? Why are you coming back to me? Change. There you go. All right. Let's go and make this guy. So, let's see. A ring of magnetization. Gold and a piece of glowstone. All right, so get those things. And then I'm going to need a way to charge this. Uh, so grab that. But this will help me out quite a bit, because I can't tell you the number of blocks that I have lost off the side of the platform. And that's really my risk, right? All right, so I'm going to need some sort of block to charge this in. What's the name of that thing from uh, Thermal? Right, what is the name of that chamber? This one, the Energetic Infuser. No, I can't get there. Ooh, I can't get there. Uh, let's see, is there a charger? So you're in open computers, charge. Uh, I'm going to have to think about this, right? Because this is EU power. I've got a charging station from Immersive. I really don't want that. All right, so I uh, wonder what it would take to get silver. Let's look in the book here. So, FDB Pyramid, Appendix, what is the Silver Quest? Right there, the Shock Absorber. All right, well, let's take a look. Shock Absorber, because that thing's holding me back, too. Well, I mean, that's just not that hard. That's not hard at all. And, you know, we got time to get this done. I got time. All right, all right, let's, uh, let's do this. No, I don't want that. Uh, give me a bunch of blocks here. So, off the top of my head... I'm going to need, uh, let's see, 30 blocks of quartz, right? And then I think I take, let's see, I'm going to take half of these guys. Well, let's think about this. Uh, so I am going to need, let me think here, that's an empower, right? An empower needs a display stand, display stand. Each one's going to take six blocks. Six times five is 30. Yeah. So half of these blocks are going to be quartz slabs. But then I do that with, right? Okay. Easy. And we'll come over here. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to rip this thing out super, super fast. Okay, it'll be ugly, but it will totally work. So let's change over. Uh, what else are we going to need here? Let's just think about this. We're definitely going to need redstone, right? Right here. And let's get, uh, yeah, let's change over like two stacks. Let's change over two stacks. Right there. Come on. There you go. Okay. So, I mean, this should be really fast to craft. Right? Let's just grab all the pieces we could need. All right. So, an empower. So, display stands. So, I'm going to need a bunch of these things. And for ease, I'm just going to grab like 15. Yeah, I think that'll work. And we'll grab a bunch of... I think they were gold nuggets. Right, and let's go ahead, let's see, I'm going to need, 
a couple of those guys for later. And we're going to need some coils. So I'm going to need at least five of these, I'm going to guess. All right. Can I shift out five of those? I'm going to need a battery. Uh, we already have that. So I'm going to need this. We're going to shift over a bunch of iron. Cool. All right. So right here, right? A bunch of iron. Cool. Yeah, this just isn't that hard. It'll be a little ugly to do, but it's just not that hard. Uh, no, already made those. So it comes down to this battery right here. And then this battery, which is going to need another one of these coils. And I might as well just make them both. Right? Double battery and empower. All right, cool. And for super, super temporary, and I mean super temporary, I'm just going to wire onto the end of this guy. And we'll do something totally ugly but effective. Right? So right here, we'll just do something like this. Right? Is I'll go ahead and put down a display stand. And then it's space. Two spaces. Yeah, I think it's two spaces. Right? Is that right? I feel like that's right. Well, we'll know in a second when it doesn't work. Uh, okay, so then... Yeah, because it takes up a, a 9 by 9 which is 7 by 7 on the middle. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, it totally does that. 1, 2, 3, right here. And then I'll come back after the episode. I'll move this somewhere else and bury all the cabling. All right, so all we're going to need is uh, empowered void crystals, and I might as well do it as a block. So a charcoal, a flint, a stone, and an ink sack. I mean, we totally can get this done. We can do both. All right, so I got an ink sack right in here, and we'll grab, you know we got charcoal, right? We got tons and tons of charcoal. Here is a block of coal that I'm going to need to convert over. All right, so flint and stone, flint and stone. All right, there's that, and I put flint down here somewhere. All right, cool, totally done, right? So this guy there. And we'll convert over the block of coal. Cool. Got that. Set that on there. And charcoal. And flint. And I'm totally going to fall off the edge here. And this will take a minute because, you know, we only have so much RF power. But whatever. That'll work. And then this guy. What do you have? Oh, you got five buckets. All right. So since that thing's got five buckets, let's go make a reservoir. Right? A reservoir. Uh, so all I need is tin and copper. Tin and copper. All right. Here we go. Going to make... Oh, I don't have the redstone on me. This is super easy. Right? So we'll make one of these. I'm going to go ahead and make a bucket. Yep, 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 yep. I love it. Okay. Got that guy. So let's go pick up all of that stuff. Right? Oh, that already empowered. Oh, man. We're going to have a two quest Tuesday. I guess it'll be another day when you guys see this. All right. So did I get... Yes, I got five buckets in there. I love doing this. This is such a great mechanic that we can do something like this. Is We're going to grab all of these guys. I'm going to take this in here. I'm going to shift out a bunch of treated wood. Done. Right? So good. All right. Let's pick up this guy over here. Yeah, let's do all the quests. All right. So we're kind of like mid on two different ones at the moment. So let's knock out Cloche. Let's knock out Cloche. So this is where the problem is. So I'm going to need an engineer's workbench, which is a treated wood fence. That's really the problem. All right. So I'm going to take some of these guys and we'll make some sticks, right? We'll come over here, make some fences. Let's see. Just keep clicking it through. There's the workbench, which means I'm going to need a blueprint, and it's going to be crafting components. So copper, aluminum, iron, lapis, and paper. All right, copper, iron, uh, aluminum, lapis, and paper. And I'm pretty sure that's the right one. I'm pretty sure, but let's, let's be super safe. Right, a cloche vacuum tubes is right? Crafting components. And this one is crafting components. Got it. Okay. So for right now, 
Ah, I knew that was going to go the wrong way. I couldn't remember if this block set sideways or not. All right, right in there. Okay, so next thing we're going to need, continuing the cloche action, is copper wire. All right, I totally know how to make copper wire by hand. Can do this right here and here, right? And then we'll do some of this action. Done. And then I'm pretty sure it's glass and redstone. And so I'm going to come over here. And I should be able to just put these guys in here. And yeah, that gives me a ton of these things. Now I don't have to worry about them. All right, let's dump all that stuff off and see what we got left. All right, so glass planks, iron plates, and copper. Yeah, that's it. Glass planks, iron plates, and copper. All right, so I got iron plates. Are you iron? Yes, you are. Copper and glass. And you know, how many of these can... Oh, I got to make these things. Uh, yeah, 16 will be fine. How many of these can I make? Oh, I can make 15. Do I need 15? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, we got the parts for it, right? I'm not cheap about this stuff. I just want it to work. All right, so we really got 14, plus we got some parts left over, right? So I'm just going to set a chest down here of stuff I have to deal with later. I'll go find it all a nice home. All right, so we got that done. Yep, uh, I'll deal with this ring of magnet later, too. All right, so what would it be for the shock absorber now? So I need one advanced coil and four obsidian. I mean... How could we not, right? Two, three, four obsidian. And one advanced coil, which I have right there. And I'm going to take this guy. We'll knock it down like that. And we'll go ahead and get this guy. Man, this is working out better than I thought it was. I wasn't planning on a two-quest day. But, I mean, if we got the time, let's absolutely do it. All right, so over here, everybody should be on. So I went and turned all of the monitors back on. And hopefully, everything works. All right, so it took the garden cloche. Come on. There you go. Turn green. And now give me my loots. Give me my loots. Come on. I know you can do it. I know it. What am I supposed to get, by the way? Cactus and canola. All right, got those. And shock absorber. All right, so shock absorber is diamonds, which we don't need. And silver, which I do need. All right, come on. Give me the silver. Give me the silver. And it's slow. Right? Could, could we use some better ducts, please? Thank you. All right. So, you know, I got enough time. Oh, what's up, Ender Dude? What are you doing out here? Let's, uh, let's not mess with him. Because the Endermen are, like, stupidly overpowered. Uh, yeah, I'm going to die. Okay. All right, so I can make that thing from thermal, the uh, energetic infuser. Yeah, there's all the silver. And here we go. Got some gold. Yeah, this is just so easy to rip out. Oh, I was making constant tan. So there we go. Got that stuff. All right, let me just pick up everything that we need here. If I can even remember it. Right, we'll just kind of grab all the things. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Glass? I know I need glass. Right? And then we'll get ourselves an energetic infuser, and we'll turn on the magnet. Ah, good day. All right, so right here, let's just rip right through this guy. I probably should make a bunch of machine frames later, just so I have them. But I mean, we're not too far out from storage system, so... This won't really be a problem soon. All right, two of those, and we'll make one of these, and we'll make one of those, and then, bang, there we go. Energetic infuser, nice. I mean, I'm probably gonna swap out to uh, Batania stuff, because we're gonna do that soon too, right? But I mean, today I can have a magnet, and we'll go ahead and just let that thing charge right up. Very, very cool. So we got a double quest day going on. Didn't even plan for it. Really just wanted to get through uh, one. And, you know, let's see how we're doing. Let's, uh, let's end this up at the main island and see how our progression is coming along. And then we got to look at probably some of this stuff for next time. I'm not sure. I did make myself a little walkway right here. I know you're not supposed to build on the island. 
I'm going to fall to my death. That's just me. All right, so let's see what our progress is like in Team Green. We are 56% done. Very cool. Looks like I got something right there that needs to be done. All right, so I think I'm going to call it there for today. That is a super, super successful day. So I'm 47 Mark IV, and, you know, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, hey, drop me a like or a comment. I always love hearing from you guys. And then I will see you in the next episode.